In this video, we're going to look at how to create custom social share links in your Webflow collection pages. Let's dive in. Hi, I'm Kyle, the creator of No Code Collab, a site with tips, tricks, and tutorials for your next no code project. Check out our website and our YouTube and be sure to subscribe. Before we get into the actual implementation and building these links out on your Webflow pages, did want to let you know that there are a couple third party tools, probably a lot of third party tools, but some popular ones that are out there, two free ones are share this and add this. I've got links in the tutorials, but they are free tools where you can go and you can grab their code. You can put it on your site and it's, it's really actually pretty simple. They give you analytics on the tools. They let you customize the buttons. So from a convenience factor, they're very nice. That said, they do collect information on the people who are visiting your site. So that's something to keep in mind if you don't really want to have someone else collecting information from your users. The convenience and the, the price does come with some trade-offs. Another third-party option is ElfSite. ElfSite is a paid tool and they have a whole bunch of widgets that you can put on your website. So it's not just social share buttons. So check out ElfSite. It is a paid tool. They do use a cookie to just track how many visitors you've had to your site because that's how they charge you but they don't store any personal information or sell any information. So ElfSite is another option if you're looking for a third party tool to handle this. And that brings us to our custom solution where we build it ourselves. The solution that we're gonna go through today does not use any cookies, we're not tracking anything. Now, if you were to build that yourself, that would be a different story, but we're not gonna go over that. So this is fully GDPR compliant, let's dive in. All right, so we are in our Webflow project. I have a really simple static page set up where I have created some share links. It's just a, a div with some very simple inline text links inside that div. I also have this other share container over here where we've got a little bit more going on with interactions and things, but we'll get into that in a minute. So the first thing you need to do is create your share links on your static page so that you can save those for later and you can save those on your styles page so that when you clear out your styles before you publish, your styles don't go away. Because what we're gonna be doing is recreating this in an embed block, which we'll go over in a second here. So I've created my, my div that has links, I've given my container the share buttons class, and then I've also given all of these links a share link class as well. So the easiest way to do this now is jump over to a collections page, grab an embed block, drag it into your page. And now you've got a spot where you can paste code. If you want, you can just jump over to our tutorial where you can copy and paste this code. But this is the code that effectively makes that set of share links. Now let's go through each of these. So this is an anchor tag. So this is your link. We've got our classes. This is an empty class. So you're actually going to have to put your classes for each, uh, each link inside the code. Then we've got some meta tags, but this is kind of the magic sauce. What we're doing here is we're saying that on, when we click this on click, what we're going to do is we're going to build this share link. So this is actually JavaScript. You don't need to change anything about this. However, if people have their JavaScript disabled, we want to have some sort of a fallback. And that is why we have our href or our, our destination URL when someone clicks this link. And all you need to do once we paste this in is we need to replace this little bit that we have in here where it says your URL path slash slug variable. All you need to do is update that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and just show you what I've, what I've done. I'm going to then paste that into my embed block and then hit save. Now, if you'll notice, these don't look the same. And that is because I don't have a class yet on this embed element. The HTML embed element in Webflow will wrap everything inside in a div. So we're going to give this div a class of share buttons. Now that's going to center everything. But then once I look in here, remember these were all 
named share link. All of those links were named share link. So now what I need to do is I need to give each one of these a class of share link. Now, another way that you can do this is you can jump to your test page. You can right click, inspect, and now you will see that sample in your dev tools, you'll see that, that sample share link that you created and you can just copy that link there. So it is the same, but just to be sure if you wanted to, you can jump over. So I'm just gonna add this share link class to every one of my anchor tags. Now, normally your HTML is not formatted like this. I'm doing it just so that it's a little easier to read, but normally they would all be in line. So it would be one long line like that. You can leave it as is, it's fine. It'll still render properly. So now I'm gonna save and close. And what you're gonna see is up here, the links, because now they have a class on it, those links are going to spread out a little bit. So there we go. So now we've got our share buttons. I'll just delete one of these. And those share buttons need, if you remember, we need to update this one thing, this your URL path and slug variable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over, this is my collection page that I've already published. So I'm just gonna grab the URL and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna just update this, your URL path string variable, update that. So I've got no code collab.webflow.io slash colors slash purple. Purple is the page, is the specific collection page that I'm on. So I'm gonna add my slug there. So this right here is my new destination that I need to update on all of these links for Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and our email update. Now, the reason I'm only doing those four is because those are probably the four I use and it seems like the most likely to be the four where people will share no code collab tutorials. If you have another social network, you could re you'd rebuild this. I've got a link in the tutorial. You can jump over to the share link generator, paste your own link in there and you can get Pinterest. I believe there actually are some others that you can also uh, add on there. So jumping back, I've updated all of my, my links there that I needed to update. And now I can save and close. And now if I publish this, we will be able to see when we jump over and we refresh, if we look down here at our, in the bottom left of the screen, we can see that our href is pointing to the right place. It's, it's updating. If I click it, it's actually not going to be the anchor tag that's activating. It's the on click. It's the, it's the JavaScript that's going to intercept that. And we are going to have a Facebook page. And so if I was logged into Facebook or if I was logged into Twitter, but that's what it's doing is that JavaScript is actually going out and grabbing the information. You can see it here. It's grabbing the information from our, from our document, from the, from the URL and from the page. And so you've got yourself share links. Now all that's left to do is style it. So if you wanted to, you could jump back here and you could uh, actually jump back. You want to go back to your, uh, your test. Now this is the important part. This is why we built those first. Now we can actually style this share link. Maybe we want to um, give it some padding all around and have a background color of purple with text of white. We don't want to have underlines and we're going to give it a... So now we've got our share links. All right, so now let's take a look at the more interactive example that we have on the left side of our screen here. Similar to the simple share links where you've created them before you've started your embed code, we're going to build these out using divs and anchor tags and get it all styled up just right. Now the difference though is that we're gonna publish this page, then open up the published page, grab that HTML code and use that as the starting point instead of using the code snippet in the tutorial as the starting point. So let's take a look how to do that.
So I've now published my page. If I right click on the side here, I can inspect, open up the dev tools, and I can open up that share container where I've created all of my social share links. If I right click and edit as HTML, now I have a big block that I can copy. And now I'm gonna head back into Webflow. I'll go to my collection page, insert a embed block, and now I can paste my div that I had created. Now this is gonna look like a lot of stuff, but all you need to do is whenever you see a bracket, you can pretty much just hit enter. An opening bracket. An opening bracket does not have the little backslash. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm just hitting enter. So now I've cleaned up my code a little bit. I've taken out some, some classes, any W dash classes. You can take those out because Webflow automatically adds those. So I took out those classes, any inline styling where it's a style equals, and then there's some inline CSS. You can take that out because your classes should style your buttons appropriately. And now what I've done is I've just organized and, and cleaned up my code. So it's important to remember that your HTML embed container is going to wrap all of your code in a div. So I've got this class that's called share embed, and that's what I wanna name my HTML container. So I'm actually going to delete those divs around it. And what I need to do is create a share container and then name my HTML embed share embed. So I'm, I just have to understand that Webflow is going to add some divs around my container. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to call my embed share embed. And now I actually want to also include a div around my share embed that I'm going to call the share container. So now we've recreated this share container, these share buttons with an, an embed element. So now we do the exact same thing we did with our inline links. Once you've opened that up, all you need to do is add the code that we have in the tutorial and add that to your anchor tag. So I'm going to jump over to my code. You can get this in our tutorial. I'm gonna copy everything that is inside the Facebook and I'm going to paste that. So now you can see we've got all of those properties for our anchor tag for Facebook. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm going to replace my classes there. So now I've got class share button Facebook. There's my combo class. So now I've got my share button for Facebook. Again, if you wanted to clean this up a little bit, you could put all this on a single line, but to make things a little easier to read, we'll leave it all on different lines. So now I'm gonna repeat that process for Twitter, LinkedIn, and our email. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added all of that information for the different social networks and the different share options that we wanna give our, our users. So now you can see I've just, inside of the anchor tag, I've just added all of those, those properties. The last thing I need to do is update my URL and the variable for the, the slug, which I'm going to use using the, the slug variable. So let's do that now. All right, I went ahead and I have updated all of the URLs with the path and then the variable to the specific page using our add field, add variable field. And now I should be good to go. When I save and close that, we see that we've got our links for people to share. If I preview this, it's all working as expected, except these are all in an embed block instead of being created from divs and anchors using the Webflow interface. This is an embed block. 
And then we can see down here on the bottom that our links are coming through correctly. So now we've created dynamic share buttons on our collection pages and we've built them from scratch. We've customized them to fit our brand. They've got interactions and animations and hover effects, all things that you probably wouldn't be able to customize just how you want using a third party tool. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.